Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's interstage window. Oh my gosh, it's time to go to Orgrimmar. Okay, let's log back in. Let's log back in. Welcome back, Jane. Welcome back. Have you had have you had lunch yet today, Jen? Jane, is it a uh, was it delicious? I feel like it's it's lunchtime and you should have had some. Okay, yes, we're heading into Orgrimmar. I think we're gonna get our Void Walker sushi. Fuck yeah! Oh my god, it was pretty good. Okay, excuse me. So there's all like all these girls at the office that are like six, seven, you know, months pregnant or whatever. Eight months. Oh my god, <clears throat> I think I have the hiccups. Um, eight months pregnant, <clears throat> and so many of them are like, I can't wait to eat sushi and cold cuts again. <laughs> like the sushi in particular drives so many of them crazy. Um, did you feel, did you feel like that? Like it was so good to eat sushi again afterwards? As I keep hearing that all the time from those girls in the office, like I can't wait to eat sushi again. I ate a ton of sushi, I'm gonna be honest, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the general consensus. That's the general consensus. Just avoid gas station sushi. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know like what the what the up and up is on like what's okay and not okay. I just know a lot of them are not eating it and they miss it so much. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we got to turn in some of these, some of these guys. Yes. Where is Admiral's order is that? Is that back at Thrall? Yeah, that's back with Thrall. Okay, let's go see Thrall first. We're gonna meet Thrall on this stream before we meet Sylvanas. That's crazy. I don't know if I've ever eaten gas station sushi in my life, honestly, but I have eaten much, much public sushi. I don't know if that's kind of the same thing as gas station sushi, because it's like at the grocery store or whatever. So that feels like it would be better, but like, I don't know. I don't really know. <clears throat> maybe it's not, maybe it's like kind of the same situation. Look at all these warlocks with void walkers. I'm gonna be in the void walker club soon. I'm gonna get my big old blueberry. Soon, soon. I love that you're playing an MMO. I love this game, Jane, for real. This game took over my life. I was so hardcore. I was so hardcore before hardcore existed, like in classic, well, vanilla is what we called it then. Um, and then um, and then Burning Crusade and then Wrath of Lich King. And then I kind of like fell off after that, but like for the first, for like the first two expansions, basically the base game and the first two expansions, I was like so invested. I was so invested, it was insane. I had a torn druid, vanilla, that I played. I loved her. Um, and then I had a warlock, blood elf, when Burning Crusade came out. And he was the best. Like, he was the best. He was the coolest. Um, I absolutely loved him. If there was blood elves in classic era, if, like, they could, I would make one. I would make one. Oh, my God. They're so good. You didn't RP, right? No, I never RP'd inside of the MMOs. I never RP'd. I was like kind of I kind of knew that like the scene existed, but Welcome it was like Ah, thanks, Thrall. The horde? I did come to serve the horde. Um Rotar. But like I just didn't I didn't really like know much about the RP scene other than like the that a lot of it, it was a lot of weirdos. <laughs> okay, like Moonguard. Like I knew Moonguard's opinion and like the understanding was it was a lot of fucking weirdos, and I was like, why would I do that when I can um, RP on other websites and I know how to filter out the weirdos already? Why would I RP inside of an MMO? So I never did, you know, I never did. I'm not saying that, like, there wasn't also good RP on WoW, maybe there was, but I don't, I didn't know how to find it, and I did not take the time to learn <laughs> at all. Um, I think you you did not in WoW though, right? It was in like um, Elder Scrolls Online. No WoW RP was much too weird to sift through. That was the reputation, and so I never did it. You know. <clears throat> 
Swarder and ESO, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elder Scrolls and then Star Wars Old Republic. Yeah, I don't... I, I never... I didn't even know that there were RP scenes on other MMOs besides WoW. So I never tried those. The only one I was aware of was WoW, and it was because it had such a crazy reputation. But I just continue to RP in other places, you know, like um, on social media sites or in chat rooms or whatever. So like, that's what I did. <clears throat> There's a lot of crushed red peppers in my serving. I've got my nose going a little bit. Okay, so now it's saying go back to Tiras Fall Glades. Be safe. But I wanna get my I wanna get my Void Walker. The lift down to Undercity, Creature of the Void. But I should probably do it. Okay. I should not have this Ragefire Castle quest. <clears throat> okay, so this one has me go inside of Skull Rock. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do that version of the quest. Yeah, we're gonna leave Org. We're gonna leave Org and go back to our homeland of Undercity. But yeah, Jane, when you were when you were doing role role playing in the MMOs, how much did you actually play the game? Was it kind of like even Steven, like you also for real played the game, or was it really just a role play vehicle? Like I don't really know how that works. You know what I mean? Because like when you log into the game, like it, I don't know, I have the urge to play the game. So I'm like, how do you even role play? I played to get cute stuff. <laughs> Mood. Okay, well maybe that's why the WoW RP scene was so weird. Because there's no, like, whole houses. There's not houses in WoW. So, like, you wouldn't... Like, the only cute stuff is, like, transmogging your gear. Like, you could get cute outfits um, and pets. But that didn't even come till later. Like, in this version in Classic, there's no transmog. And you can get pets, but they're not organized. They just chill in your bag. Like, it's weird. Didn't have houses in ESO when we started. It's about the outfits. I see, I see. Yeah, well, you can't transmog in WoW until later on. So maybe that's why the RP scene developed so weird, because at first, like, you couldn't do any of that. Like, you just had to just wear the gear. There was no transmog. Open world RP is the best. That, that makes sense, yeah. <clears throat> so I think it's just, like, the features, maybe the features of WoW plus how popular it was is why the RP scene was so weird compared to other games. But like before WoW, I had played Final Fantasy XI. I played that for about a year or so. Before that, I was hardcore into EverQuest. Like I played the hell out of EverQuest. Um, and like in all of the games, the MMOs that I played, most of the time I was playing, I actually would play on an RP server, but I wouldn't actually RP. For whatever reason, the RP servers often would attract um, players that were a little bit more like chill, it would attract a lot more um, adults, you know, things like that. So I would play on the RP servers, but I would not RP. And I was not on um, Moonguard when I was on the RP server for a while. I think I was on Steam Wheel Cartel, maybe. It's really hard to remember. There's a lot of WoW servers. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, that's how I found RP. Mr. Jane told me to join an RP server because they are quiet. Yes. Yeah. So like I would play on the RP servers because like they were just they were just chiller, you know. <sighs> Perfect timing. Zeppelin here. Yes, yeah, so I would play on there, but there was a lot of people playing on those servers that weren't actually RPing, you know. So that's what I did. So I would still like do the normal game, you know, quest and dungeons and raids and, you know, things like that. Like in, 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 in during Wrath, I did a lot of like achievement hunting. Um, so I did a lot of that as well when I played. But yeah, Jane, because this is this is hardcore official, like when you die, you have to you delete you can't play your character anymore after you die. 
So um, that's basically how this works. So I wanted to stream this Warlock and we're doing it next Saturday as well. Um, but I don't know. I don't know after like the three streams I had planned because I like I wanted to do it during while it was like kind of hopping and popular. If we're going to keep doing this um, until we die <laughs> or, um, you know, if we're going to if, if I'm just going to start playing the Warlock on my own until I die, like I don't know. So like y'all let me know what you're interested in. Like, is this more interesting than playing the Sims 2 Legacy? Because like after next week, I'm going to have to decide unless I die. If I die, then the decision is made for me. <laughs> if I die, the run ends, obviously. And then it's like, you know, do we want to do do we want to do it again? I don't know if I want to stream it again, but we'll see. I like the high stakes. I like the high stakes, too. It's fun. It's fun. You know, the first when my druid died, I was like, I don't think I like hardcore. Like, I don't know. I don't like it's so hard. Meh, meh, meh. I like cried about it, you know, and I was like, I could just because you can get a free transfer to a non hardcore server. And I was like, I'm just going to transfer her. And then I was like, but not tonight. N tonight, I'm just going to go shower and then, then, you know, play something else and then go to sleep. And I woke up the next morning and I was like, no, I want to play more hardcore. <laughs> and then I made Neon Kitty. Because <laughs> <clears throat> even though I was really sad when she died, it was like, it was fun, and I can't deny that it was really fun. I didn't realize what hardcore meant. Yeah, that's what it means. It's like when you die, you can't revive your character anymore. Like, the, the spirit healers just don't work. So yeah, I got all the way to level, like, what, 22 on my druid, and then I went into a castle with a bunch of gnolls, and I died, which was dumb. Like, I shouldn't have even gone in there, but I did. So learn, learn from, I learned from my mistakes. I'm going to try not to do stupid shit. <clears throat> But yeah, so the hardcore scene in WoW has been going for a couple of years, and just last week, uh, Blizzard launched um, actual hardcore servers, like official hardcore servers, because before, people were doing it through like kind of an add-on honor system thing, because you could cheat the add-on, but that's basically what they what they do, is they would use an add-on um, and track it that way, but it got really popular, and so Blizzard was like, let me do it. So that's why I have this death log up here, like this person. Look, they got a 29, and they were killed by a Hillsbrad miner. So they went in a cave. They went in a cave like I did. Fucking dumb. Okay, this person, a uh, Kolkar Stormseer, you act like you're the only feral druid. <laughs> wow, some snark before they died. Lovely. Um, th this death log here is an add-on. It's one of the add-ons that the actual hardcore people used to use. Um... But I wanted to see it because I just thought, like, that's funny. All right, so let's go to Brill. I would have rage quit. Yeah, I, I kind of, that's how I felt when it happened. But then I slept and then the next morning I was like, no. No, I want more pain, please. I would like that. Thank you. <laughs> and I was like, let me go again. And I got, I leveled her much faster. I leveled her much faster this time than before. So, you know, I learn it. I'm learning. <clears throat> okay, we can hide all these because we're back in Tiras Fall, so we want to do this one. Okay, so let's accept these quests. Like, are we okay falling in love with this one now? I feel like I don't want to invest. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to invest. It's okay. Because we're not going to die. Y'all aren't going to let me. Y'all aren't going to let me die. <clears throat> and because I've been playing WoW for so long, like I know it very, very well, which is which is helpful. And a lot of the people playing hardcore also have been playing it for so long, they know it very they know WoW very, very well. So like it's helpful. You know? Like they, they know what's what's going on. I am forsaken. Okay, where is Helgar Summons? Is that it? Hearing Where's it so Hel hardcore. <laughs> well, where is Halgar summons? Is it in Undercity? Agron? Where are you? Oh, no, I was targeting him. I guess I must have done Halgar summons. Speak quickly. Um, let me check my questy. I 
haven't done Helgar summons. What is happening? That better be good. Is it because I accepted the Durotar version of the quest? Let's see. What does the, this thing want me to do? Caridin in the Mage Quarter. Okay. Okay, yeah, the summon quest didn't work, but we can still go do the Creature of the Void. Because it's still there. Because I definitely don't want to go into Skull Rock. Okay. Yeah, we want to do the Undercity version of the Void Walk request. A faux show! Alright, let's vendor our shit! Be quick about your business. <clears throat> I need to send things to my bank alt. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's mail some things to Barbarella. Where's the mailbox? Oh, it's over here. It's by the inn. All right, you can take this, 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 this. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you can keep that. <clears throat> this... Let's make some band-aids. We'll put the band-aids in the soulbound bag in the bank. Definitely look into media share of how nicely I'm relaxing on the patio. Yeah. Let's look. Ooh! Oh, you've got a nice, beautiful sunset. Oh, and you've got a blankie. Oh, I love that. It looks so cozy. Someday, when you all get brave, we should RP on ESO. I can be everyone's sugar daddy, and we can run the North American server RP scene. We'd be kings. God's Jane, you're crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> okay. All right, we need to go into Undercity. Uh, oh, I, there's a couple things I didn't sell. I haven't got all day. You do actually have all day, quite literally. Okay. Our time will come. Oh, and reclining furniture. Nice. Okay. Oh, Undercity's this way. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. We are gonna fight um, the hardest boss. Hardest boss in WoW, in hardcore, okay? Kills many, many people um, indiscriminately. This is, uh, this is ridiculous, so I need like all your um, hardcore gamer energy, okay, to fight this boss. I'll show you when we get there. I'll show you when we get there. You're gonna see, Jane, you're gonna see. Hardest boss. I can't lose another. <laughs> Don't worry, we're OP. We're OP, we won't lose. We won't lose. Okay. We gotta go into the Undercity. Ruins, in, so we gotta go through the ruins of Lordaeron into the Undercity. Hype, thank you. Thank you for your gamer energy, Lunar. Thank you. Is it our mom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's our mom. Isn't the hardest boss the Q boss? Yeah, the hardest boss is the Q boss, but we've been done defeated the Q boss. There's not Qs right now, so we've been we defeated them. We defeat this is this is the this is really the hardest boss. Q boss 
Q boss is a pushover. You just need patience. That's all you need to beat the Q boss, which is very easy for me. I have a lot of patience. Um, this boss, though, is much harder. Are you nervous, guys? I'm really nervous. Okay, here it is. The elevator. Look, there's a body on it. There's a body on the elevator. Okay, hardest boss in the game. Elevator boss. Okay. Um, an undercity elevator. It kills many. It kills many people. Look, this poor soul. O'Leary. O'Leary? Poor O'Leary. Okay. Whew. You always survived. Fuck. That was so scary. <laughs> yeah, if you fall down that elevator, you die. It kills many runs. <laughs> what would you ask of death? Oh, okay, we don't need to do that. We already have. We need to get the. We need to go to the bank. Yeah, that that elevator actually legit uh, kills what people, and it will kill you at high levels, at low levels. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a death trap. What an absolute shit way to ruin your day, right? And you know what? That's not even the only spot where you can just like fall and die on accident. There's also elevators in Thunder Bluff, but people don't usually die on those, but because they don't move that fast, but the undercity ones zoom and people die. Okay. Um, I think we have a whole stack of the better band-aids. Let's get, let's use better band-aids. There we go. Oh, that's another thing I should have sold. Should have sold that. Okay, we want these. Potions. Now <laughs> that their body the stays there. Yeah, so because you cannot actually revive your character, um, the body will stay there for a while. Like, that just, that basically means like they haven't deleted the character yet. And if you don't delete the character, like your body chills there for a long time in this mode. Normally the bodies wouldn't stay because the person would just revive. You know, they'd come back and get their body and they'd start playing again. But in hardcore, you don't do that. So, uh, so yeah, the, the body just stays there. Well, it looks like we're getting a little bit of stream lag. I apologize for that, you guys. Let me close a couple things. Close out Chrome. We don't need to have Chrome open. Make sure some other stuff isn't open. Okay. All right. Steam was still open, so I closed that. Maybe that was hurting it. Okay. Um, let's get our Void Walker. Let's get our Void Walker. Much easier. We don't have to go to Skull Rock. I don't want to summon my imp because I want to use him. <clears throat> Alright, we need to get Elegant's Grimoire. And we're gonna leave Undercity through the sewers, which, no, that's the fa that's the faster way. This is Undercity, by the way. The lore of Undercity is so cool. So basically, these undead people, they are all former Lordaeron citizens. So when the undead plague came, um, most of the people of Lordaeron got turned into undead, and they served the Lich King. And so then there's a bunch of the undead that um, instead of serving the Lich King, they, uh, they began to have their own free will and they became the Forsaken. And uh, that's what I am playing is the Forsaken. And this is their city, which is built inside of the sewers of Lordaeron, which used to be their home. So above us is their, their old home, but it's like all in ruins, so they can't live there anymore. So they made this new city in the sewers.
I think I go through here to get to the sewer exit. I think it's back here. How did I know that? I don't know. You must have been exposed before. Oh wait, this isn't the right way. Where's this? Where's the sewer entrance? I mean, WoW's pretty ubiquitous, Jane. If you were playing ESO, you probably knew a bit about WoW. Oh, it's over there. It's over there. I played 22 minutes of WoW. Well, you must have... Did you play an undead when you played? Because it explains it to you in the opening cinematic. Here it is. This is the sewer exit. But you're white. All my friends are WoW nerds, and I probably heard, yeah. So you probably, like, knew through osmosis. Unless you played an undead when you played. But you know what, Jane? You should um, you should play again. They've got classic era servers, which is basically like the original version of the game, um, which is what I'm playing now. But they have like non-hardcore version as well that you can play. And I think you would like it since you do like some MMOs. Um, and this is a good one. I'm not going to lie. It's a good one. I know you don't like them the way I do, but you do like them somewhat. But yeah, I've never joined the RP scene here, and from what I know, it's really fucking weird. So I wouldn't recommend that part of it, just the game itself. Is the grimoire here? Yes, it's in this tower. Okay. All right, we're going to ransack them. Way easier than Skull Rock. And I see a lot of people here. Let's help kill. And there's the chest, already there for us. Yay! Got the grimoire. Okay, we do have to wait for him to respawn though, because we do need to kill him. Oh, and we need to kill some zealots and missionaries. Okay. All right, let's glue your ass. And we'll kill Perrin. You gonna help? Oh no, you're just gonna hang out. Oh no, you are gonna help. Thank you. Did the glue not take? Yeah, that was the glued one. It didn't take. Stupid. You gotta get some ringies. There's lots of other Scarlets that will kill though, so. Oh, I can tell you the lore of the Scarlets too. So the Scarlet Crusade is some is was started by some humans that didn't end up getting turned whenever the undead curse came for um for this area. And um they became like really fearful of outsiders and so basically anybody that's not a Scarlet Crusader, they assume is susceptible to the um to the undead curse and they will kill you like even if you're not undead yourself uh they will they will kill you anyways because they think like oh but you're not a scarlet you might be an undead you might just have not turned yet and uh and so they're like basically like super ridiculously wary of everyone that's not also a scarlet and so even though like they're they're humans and they used to be like regular Lord on citizens, if you play a human character and you come over here, the Scarlets will still attack you because they think like, well, you're not a Scarlet, like you could turn, you know, you could turn. So we're just going to prevent you from ever even turning. All right, 
right, let's get some missionaries. You a missionary? Yes, you are! Come on, respawn. Not gonna hurt you too bad, I promise. Oh, that's a zealot. Oh, but you're attacking me, so. Oh wait, no it's not. Ha! <laughs> that is another thing they changed on the hardcore servers. When mobs first spawn, they like are a little bit like, their aggro radius is really tiny for a second. So if you, like, run away from them as soon as they pop up, you might be okay. Instead of, like, on the regular, um, they would be aggro as soon as they popped. Okay, got that. Oh, we can just walk back in the way we came out, right? Back here? Yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, because this is the way if you're playing Alliance and you want to come sack under city, you would come in this way. Blueberry. It's going to make things way easier. test my timers because I don't see them popping up yeah they're not they don't pop up I'll have to fix that off stream um where is like negrosis is still kind of not working oh yeah oh and it's not yeah I can't select that I wanted to automatically go on my last bag that add-on should do that I did I did try uninstalling and reinstalling necrosis for what it was worth, because it wasn't working last stream either. And that didn't do anything. Okay, we gotta go, yeah, all the way back around to the magic quarter. In an original version of WoW, like before they released it, like in a, um, in a development version, Undercity had multiple levels and uh, they ended up having to scrap the extra levels because people found it too confusing to navigate around Undercity. So now it's just kind of this one level, but it's still like very sprawling in this big circle with the different quarters. I hope our Voidwalker has a cool name. I feel like our imp's name is pretty cool. Belkol? Like, that's a neat name. I hope our Voidwalker has an equally neat name. Hello. 
All right. Now we have to prove our worth to him and fight his ass. Uh, so let's buff up. And here we go. I know you don't like being pulled from the nether, but it's like cool and chill here. Like you'll have fun hanging out with me. So yeah. See, Velcro has fun. You're gonna have fun too. Yay. Now that I've killed you, you know I'm telling the truth. We did it. And let's, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not doing a goddamn logout skip. Are you kidding? Leave me alone. Okay. Exit under city. Did I set this to Brill? No, it's still set to Razor Hill. Dang, I should have set it to Brill so I could hearth. Well, we'll go back up the Ella later. Oh, I missed the turn. It was right there. I'm waiting to summon him until we're going to go fight something, and then I'll summon him, and we'll see what his name is. Here we go, toughest boss again. There's that body. Yeah, I don't, this is how you win with the elevator boss. You don't get on the elevator immediately. Like if the door's already open, don't try to run on. Don't try to run on in that moment. Just wait for it to go up and come back. And then you go in right when the door's open like that. Here we go, that's how you win the elevator boss. Pro strat, pro strat, now you know. We need to get Doomweed as well. That's not, it doesn't, the guy doesn't say that, I don't think, but like, we do need that. Like, why not? Why would we not finish that quest? All right, so we need to kill some Dusk Bats, which are all over here. Okay. Get the coarse thread. And then we're gonna go up here to the mills. Oh, these guys are all gray. I wonder why the guide didn't have me do this quest earlier. The drop rate must be really shitty. That's okay, we're still gonna do it. I will make those bats drop the pelts. We got the tiger pelts, we'll get the bat pelts.
Oh, I need to spend my talent point. Faster corruption. What did it not spend before? I thought I spent my point. What the heck? There we go. Man, I could have been having faster corruption this whole time. I thought I spent one of the points already. But I guess I didn't click it. That's much better. Not instant yet, but way better. Feels good. Hello, little bats. Come here. Get this warm fire hug. What level is he? Oh, he's 11? Shit, I should have summoned my Voidwalker. I scared. I'm running away. Even though I probably could take him, but we're not going to risk it. You know what? Let's summon our Voidwalker before we have another close call. Before we have another close call with a, with a mob that I don't know their abilities and things and don't know if they're safe to fight. Belknack. Oh, we got Bell Cole and Belknack. Maybe they're maybe they're friends. Maybe they're from the same same town. That's why they have similar names. Okay. Now that we have our Void Walker, let's kill this bitch. He messed with me. That's what he gets. Come here, Resin. There we go. That's what you get. What are these? Pioneer boots? Is that anything? No, they're leather. <sighs> didn't even have drop for me. Mess with me and didn't even have drop for me. fighting the dark hound did he fight you first oh you're on defensive you should be on passive my friend belkol knew what was up i guess i didn't tell you yet Got our pelts. Before we go to the mills, I'm gonna go get the coarse thread and finish this little quest here. Where is the doom weed at? Oh, it's over there. Okay. With the gnolls. That's why we haven't got it yet, because we haven't gone up and killed gnolls yet. And we probably shouldn't because that's where Maggot Eye is, so we wouldn't want to do it till we can do we're gonna go get Maggot Eye.
Hey, Zygand. What is it, lady? Why are you meowing so much? What now? Goodbye. What? She's meowing really loud. I don't know. I don't think the microphone's picking her up because she's behind it, but I don't know if y'all can hear her. What is it, lady? Why are you having trouble? You can't possibly have serious problems. You're a kitty cat. Okay. Oh, that is slightly better back. All right. Now we're going to go up to Agamon Mills. Hi! What is it? Yeah, make the microphone squeak. That's good. I can't see anything on the screen, lady. What? All I see is your tail. I'm going to train this. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Me throw away my plate. So that she doesn't try to eat the little bits of couscous. There. I need to empty my garbage that's in here. Okay. All right. So where are we going now? Oh, Agamond. This way. Yeah. Don't worry, lady. We'll play some after I'm done streaming. Is that okay? Oh. She left. She's over it. I swear she did not want any attention this morning. Like, I went and pet her. She just wants to play. She doesn't want attentions. Lady, do you want to say hi to the stream? Would that make you happy? Would it? Come on. You can come on. On this side. Instead of in front of the monitor. She's not interested. Kitty streamer, right? She's not interested. She wants me to pay full attention to her. Ugh, I gotta get some WD-40 on that. So in Agamon Mills, oh, we're getting the deaths in the family, their remains. Okay. Hopefully there's some peoples up there that can help us out. Oh, a 29 died. Hillsbrad Minor. Hillsbrad Minor. I'm going to have to remember that if I ever get a character high enough to go over to Hillsbrad. Those miners, man, that's the second higher level I've seen got, get, get got, excuse me, by those. Almost there. We're gonna get notch stribs and blackened skulls from here too. <clears throat> All right, let's kill. nice having a void walker now they don't really attack me anymore oh 
do you do that? Attack the Voidwalker. That's what he wants. Belknack prefers you attack him. Jane no worries Jane it's it's a party sometimes sometimes you got to go refill your drink you know sometimes you got to go refill your drink at the party it's totally cool we're um we're back in our homeland fighting uh some um some non-forsaken undeads some like actual just undeads sometimes you go fight off a woodpecker <laughs> why would you fight off a woodpecker what where was it what did it do to you was it attacking you? I don't understand. Was there a woodpecker in your house? Oh my god. They're all gonna pull. They're all gonna pull. Well, let's get this guy. My house is made of wood. Oh, it was pecking your house. Oh. You know, but the I had wood siding house that I lived in before, and woodpeckers never pecked the house. They still peck the trees. So occasionally I have to go battle. I've never experienced this. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Y'all, if they all pull, we're gonna fucking book it and run. They all pulled. I knew it. Run, run, run. We're not gonna try to fight all of them. Luckily, we have our Voidwalker. Bitch. Voidwalker can sack. It's okay. I knew all three of them were going to pull. I knew it. Oh, and there's Nessa, too. Oh, no, it's a lost soul. It's not Nessa. I thought it was ne the actual, like, named that we were supposed to kill, but no, it's just a random lost soul. I don't even think, like, there's, yeah, there's no even things on there, reason we're supposed to kill the lost souls. Well, we did get one, so maybe we can take the two next. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a rare. Well, let's kill her. Look, it's a friend. It's a friend that can maybe help us. Let's invite them. Yay. Aw, oh, he was already fighting Nisa. Oh, but I think I still got credit. Alright, it's nice to have friends. Oh, that lost soul respawns fast. Wait, I think one of the other names is in here, isn't it? Notstrib. Oh, no, I guess not. Just the Notstrib. Okay. Well, maybe my friend was going the right way. Let's follow him. I come in, I come in, Mr. Rogue.
Oh, there's one of the names. Thurman. Sorry, Thurman. This whole family got turned. It's really sad. All, all the family, all their workers, all turned into undead. Ah, uh, yes. Got it. I wanted that. Another quest. Come on, give me some ribs. Oh, a blackened skull works. I do need those too. Part of me wants to play Doki Doki Literature Club. Part of me does not. Play it, play it, play it. Girl, it was such a good game to stream, like for real. And play, it's just a good game. You should definitely play Doki Doki. What are you playing for Halloween? Have you thought about it? I'm sure you're gonna do something spooky, right? Is one of the named over here? Is that why he we're hanging out? No. All right, that's all the skulls. Ah, oh, there's Gregor. Sorry, Gregor, you gotta be put down. You're not a person anymore, you're undead. All right, sweet, just need ribs. I'm doing this thing called 31 Days of Halloween. Ooh, well, I stream a lot. So we have some FNAF, Bendy, and Little Nightmares downloaded. I love watching Little Nightmares. That's like such a good game to stream too. It's too creepy for me. I can't play it, but I love watching it. Like, I wish I was so awesome. I never played it, but I have my heart monitor. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. When you had the, um, the heart monitor for the one other one, like that was so cool. All right. Bye Devlin. All right. That should be all the names that we need. Now I just need to get more ribs. Aw. I didn't say thank you quick enough. Oh well, it's fine. Thank you. I know you ain't watching the stream, but it don't matter. Okay, let's do this. Whisper. Thank you. <clears throat> I think this year for Halloween, I'm just going to do like one specific like spooky game stream instead of the whole month. That's what I did. You know, I did like the whole month last year and I just think it, it got a little bit too much, a little bit stale, you know. Um, so I want to do one stream that's like a Halloween game, but the other October streams are going to be like my normal content. And this Christmas, I'm doing this thing called 25 Days of Christmas where I stream every day and it'll be better 
since I work for two weeks and I'm off for two weeks. Oh, so like for the two weeks that you're working, are you just going to have like short streams? And then when you're off, you're going to have like more normal length streams or something like that. Yep. Oh, that would be awesome. 25 days of streams. That's the plan. I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas this year because I don't even know if we're like going somewhere or having people over or what. And that always determines like if, you know, streaming or not streaming, because I don't agree with streaming like on Christmas because people could should be spending time with their families on Christmas. But a lot of times like around Christmas, I also will cancel a lot of streams because like I'm doing family stuff or whatever, you know. But I don't know this year what we're doing for Christmas. We haven't really talked about it or anything. I have no idea. Okay, got the ribs. All right, now we should be able to come back here and walk down this mountain. Like I know, I know what the um, the guide is talking about with that. So we're gonna try that. It will help to get 60 day stream. Yes, faster for follower emotes. And I will do a stream on Christmas Eve or Christmas day, makes sense. So you would just skip those days, but otherwise you would do the 25 days. That's so cool. I think that's a really, really neat plan. And you know, I'll, I'll come, I'll come hang out in as many of them as I can. At least lurk, even if I can't really talk. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's so many enemies right here. Let's dodge around them. Dodge around them. Of course, of course. Okay, so we're going to try to go down this mountain without taking too much fall damage. I think we should be able to do it. Should be should be not too bad. Yeah, this isn't too bad. All right, rot hide gnolls. Let's kill them bitches. Bye gnolls. Use no match for me. Magadai, the little, like, named boss of this area, I see take out a lot of people, too. But he's not gonna take out us. We're gonna fucking kill his ass. Get him. Oh, my Voidwalker's fighting a totally different one. Voidwalker, come here. Inventory's full. Okay. Um, what can I drop? I can drop you. I can't loot that right now. Man, I should have gone and sold before doing this. Probably still should. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna hearth, right? Yeah, because that's a lot of enemies to run through. We're going to hearth, and then we're going to come back up this way. My bags is full up. What are you looking for? I forgot my hearth was in fucking Razor Hill. I never said it to Brill. I'm fucking dumb. <sighs> wow. Wow, I hearthed all the way back to Razor Hill. The heck? Yeah, big oof. Big oof. Okay, go here we go. To victory. I'm gonna ride the Zeppelin again and I'm gonna set my hearth and Brill this time. 
Like a fucking smart person. Well, while we walk, <laughs> are you guys doing anything fun tonight or tomorrow for the weekend? <laughs> I'm mostly hanging out with y'all streaming. And uh, I think after stream, I'm going to do my starters for, uh, for Jane and, and Kendra and Noms' new roleplay. That's what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> Just start peeing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do my starters. Hopefully I got some emojis. I think I emojied yours, but if you want to emoji mine and I can do a starter, because you have two characters that you started with, right? You have two? So you can emoji, because I, I emojied one of yours, but I don't think I emojied the other. Yeah, so if you emoji mine, then I'll make a starter for the other character that I didn't emoji. Already did? Okay, sweet. Okay, so I do have emojis. Good. So I can make some um, some starters after stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop that shit. The werewolves are really cool, Lunar. They did some really cool stuff with the lore. Um, because whether you're a werewolf, a human, or a vampire, you do have some powers. Um, so it's really unique. I think you're going to like it. And my character is Abigail in there. So if you see, um, if you read it, Lunar, and you see Abby, that's my character. Devil reach so far west, even the devil can't reach it. Wow. Wow, what a cool tagline. Is that the tagline? I don't I don't remember seeing that, but that's like really cool. Y'all should put that in the ad if it's not in the ad already. If it is and I just missed it, then shame on me. If that's the tagline, okay. Yeah, yeah, you should put that in the ad. For sure. Y'all, when the Zeppelin lands, the first fucking thing we're doing is, is setting our hearth. We're setting our hearth. I brain blasted the whole server off that line. <laughs> yeah, I feel brain blasted. I feel brain blasted. Like, seeing it just now. Like, poof. My mind is blown. Oh, a 29 got bit it. Hillsbrad Miner! All these people in their late 20s getting got by Hillsbrad Miners. Holy fuck. Don't go to the miners alone. I want horns now, bad. Get them. Honestly, like these putting these things on my head and does something. I don't even like want to do my intro the same. Like it does. It does something. It does something. I don't. I can't explain it, but it does. You're changed. I feel changed. I really do. 
Like they they have they have ma- powers. There's magical powers in these horns. I got them from Amazon. Maybe like Jeff Bezos did something to them. I, if he had powers, they would be dark. So, you know, maybe that's what it is. All right, we're back. <sighs> I'm gonna set our hearth this time. Instead of fucking around, going into Undercity and stuff. I got excited about my Voidwalker, wasn't thinking. Yeah, thank you, Jane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set my thingy to whatnot. <clears throat> Okay. All right, come on, Belknack. There are points, that's what I said too. I'm like, oh my God, you guys have the point system in this one. I love it. My, I've got a vamp, my girl is a vampire and her animal is hummingbird and she has like the, the, the smoke demon, like call spell. That's what I'm starting her with, um, with her points. And uh, so she can like summon a little smoke hummingbird that can go do like spy shit for her. Isn't that awesome? All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to go set my thingy to whatnot. I'm going to go, I'm going gonna, gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's go set the thingy. I thought I did this. I totally didn't. Hello. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Embrace the shadow. Okay. Hey, Coleman, what's up? Yvette, I've I have the letter all day. for you. You have all day for this. You want to read that letter. Yeah, I did it. Thank you, Jane, for all of your support and reminders. Because I love to forget things. It's my favorite. What now? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Lunar, if you write with us, that would be so fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm, I try I try not to, like, freak, like, freak out, but that would be so cool. For real. I hope you like it. Like, the structure and stuff and are interested. No pressure. Like, I don't want to put, put on pressure, but, like, it would be cool. This had better be good. Oh, those are better Remember. pants. Discipline. Okay, now let's go back to beating up Knowles. You're going to take out Magadai. Excuse you. Oh, I thought he's bond on top of me based on where the, the thing was, but no, he's a little far. All 
right, we're gonna make our way up to up to Magadai, kind of getting these things on the way. The Rothide Knolls, this is the, the clan of gnolls that was inside the castle that killed my druid, so I'm like especially angry with them. Um, which is really why um, Magadai especially needs to die. Oh. Oh, that's- I thought I was targeting the one that just spawned, bitch. Yeah, we gonna- we gonna fuck him up good. Valnat, come get this guy off of me. He smells. He smells like dead dog. Because they are undead gnolls. Ha ha ha. Gross. Alright. Doom weeds. Um, excuse you. There must be a lot of people in this little corner because they are spawning like fast, fast, fast. You know, I'm not only like killing them, I'm also stealing their flowers. Like they don't even get to have anything, anything pretty in their area. I steal them all. Alright, let's see if this guy wants to get Magadai with us. Oh, he's level 8. That's why people die to Stubu to Magadai. They try to kill him at level 8. Silly. Come on, come back. And there he comes. Bye, Maggot Eye. All right, no big. He gone. Did the grave robbers drop in bombing acre too? Or is it just the gnolls and mongrels? See, the grave robbers should be over here. There's like little or literal like like little grave area. Oh no, the grave robbers do not drop the Ikor, it looks like. Oh wait, no they do, they do, they do. The sword icon confused me, but no, they do drop Ikor. Okay, well let's kill the grave robbers we need, and hopefully we'll get enough Ikor from them. Thank you. 
great rubber. I feel like the regular gnolls and mongrels were dropping it better. Okay, we only need one more ichor. Let's go back up this way so we can get those murlocs up there next. There we go. Okay. Let's run through here. And we'll get some murlocs on the coast. I really hate fighting murlocs because they're all like clustered and clumped up. Can't like single pull them away. I have to fight two at once. Don't you go tattle. Target. Trying to tattle to your friend. Excuse you. Oh, who's that? Aw, the cack. I'm sorry. That sucks. Murloc's gotcha. Come on, drop the skills so I don't have to be here for so long killing you guys. I think we can do a group of three. Battle jumper, oracle, oracle. We have to do both the oracles first. I'm gonna send the void walker in.
All right. There we go. Oh, and they're dropping scales. Nice. My reward for taking the three pack. Oh, I keep forgetting corruption's not instant cast yet. I don't quite have all those talents. Yay, all done. Okay. All right, let's run back now. Oh, we're going to have to go back to Agamon Mills for the... Oh, for Dargol, down in the crypt. Okay, yeah, that's a little dangerous. That's a little bit dangerous. We have Belknack with us now. So we're strong. The shadows beckon. All right, let's go turn in all these other ones. I just realized inside the graveyard there, it plays the same song as when you die. <laughs> I never realized that was the same music. choose we well, can't use either so i guess this one Beware the living. yeah like that was that like i've never noticed that before like that's really cool and it was only inside the graveyard like it stopped once i left the little graveyard gate i am forsaken we go. hey level up yay All right. Slumber sand. Sweet. Definitely want that. That will be helpful among our tools to try to keep us alive. Can I not open this? Oh, it's just a sheet seashell. I thought it was a like a clam thing that you could open for pearls. What is it? Okay. Watch your back. All right, did that. 
Okay, we need a train. Where's the warlock trainer? In the inn, okay. Oh, they must be upstairs. Oh, no. Other room? They're in this room. Yes, this room. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot where the Warlock Trainer is. Alright, teach me some skills. Definitely need new Shadow Bolt. Uh, probably get that too, yeah. Okay. Um, health funnel. All right, let's vendor my trash and buy what more milk. Do you require? Do not seek death. I haven't got all day. All right. Bleeding horrors and wandering. Okay, over there. I was about to say, I thought for a second it was already sending me back to the, the mills to do the family crypt, but it's like, no, that doesn't make sense. My questie is just not updating properly over there. It's got some stuff on there it shouldn't, but it'll update once I kill something, I bet. Oh no, it is updated. Okay, so it's rear guard. It's rear guard that we're doing. Okay, yeah, let's go do that. What's up, new friends? Time to say goodbye. We're taking the Balnir farmstead for the Forsaken. You don't get to have it anymore, undead. I'm freeing you from the Lich King's grasp by killing you. This is what you want. Because you can't just become Forsaken like me. You're not so special. Item, be nice. This is just a tag quest. He can come with us. Oh, he said no. Okay. Okay, I guess you want to be big man by yourself. Some people are still doing the solo self found in this. Not very many, but some people are. So I find that a little bit interesting. It doesn't seem as fun to me, but I guess it's like even more of a challenge. So that's why they're doing it. Oh, 
Oh, I need to spend my talent point. Yeah, faster corruption. Next level, it'll be instant cast. Sorry, wandering spirit. You didn't even get to keep a body when you became undead. You're just like a little ghost. Thank you. One thing that is kind of a bummer about Warlocks is I don't have a buff I can share. Most other casters, like, there's a buff that you can cast on other people as well, but I don't have that. <laughs> I only have ones I can cast on myself. I have the armor. And the only way I can, like, give people something is, like, when I get underwater breathing, I can give that. Um, I can give them a health stone, but that requires, like, opening a trade window. It's not the same as just casting. What is it, lady? You back? You want to say hello to the stream? You meow much more politely this time. Yes, you did. Hello. Y'all can't. Oh, there she is. Wait, the arm is in the way. There. Little lady. Little lady. Lady, where are you? Oh, there you are. Here, I pet you. Meow, meow. Are you okay, lady? I feel like you've been really picky today. Is everything okay? Yeah, okay. No, I, I already did the wand. I don't need that. Okay, so now it's coming up here for the Scarlets. All right. Gosh, there's so many enemies. I don't want to fight any of you. I just want to walk up to the Scarlet area. All right, can we end the stream with getting Vatch on? Let's see if we can do it. Come on, walk up the mountain. There we go. All right. Oh, there's someone here. 
Let's invite. It's easier when you have friends. Let him get some mana. All right, here we go. Let's go. Get Captain Vashon for the horde. Didn't even need to use my glue because I got a mage friend now. <gasps> she healed. We got him. All right, we need another fryer, and then we just need to kill until we get rings. Is that better than the belt I have? Yes, it is. I had a feeling. I got a feeling. Woo-hoo. Are they all gonna... If I pull, are they all three gonna come on? Let's find out. Nope, I can single pull that one. The other two probably come together, though. Give me a ring, girl. Thank you. I earned it. Why is this one gray? Who is fighting it? I don't even see them. Whoever the heck tagged it. Ooh, there must be a ring on him. He's sparkly. Run, run, run. Before more respawn. Give me your ring, dude. Thank you. He must like it. Give me your ring, too. I'm collecting them. From foolish men. Whatever. Okay. Well, let's kill some um, spiders right here, and then we'll come back and get our last ring. Where's the spiders? Has someone destroyed all those, too? Spiders? Hello?
Why aren't any of these dropping their venom? Are they not all venomous? Still recharging. Give me your venom. No, okay. Is it a low drop rate quest? Maybe it is. Well, let's try to get one more ring. I'm out of range. Pull him back. Give me your ring. That spell isn't ready yet. Oh my gosh. I was getting ring drops. Good. And now they're like, no. We know what you're doing with them. You can't have our love. There we go. Got ten rings. Okay. I have the cloth. I already have that. Alright, we kill spiders next. Well, we're actually going to go turn in instead. Because it's 4pm. We'll do spiders next time. Too bad my hearth is down. It has what? Oh, like 15 more minutes. Yeah, we're going to run to Brill and we're going to turn in some of these quests. I can't believe we made it through two streams. Because I will say it is harder to concentrate. Um, you know, trying to be entertaining and stuff with streaming it as opposed to just playing by myself. So I'm a little surprised. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that we haven't had more close calls, you know, or other situations. <laughs> now, we haven't gone into Skull Rock yet, of course, which, you know, we'll see. Might try to do that next stream. I want to head over to Mulgore as well and do all of the Torin starting area quests. I don't think Mulgore has any like good like items like this that that you would want to get necessarily, but like I think it's good to do the gray quest to kind of like build up our money and like take it slow um, so that we're more likely to live longer. So I still think it's a good idea to do it, even though Mulgore is not as beneficial as doing Tirus Fall Glades or Durotar. Um, just because of the quest reward items that you get. Oh, I should probably sell shit, too. What is it? Oh, these are better. Watch your back. I am forsaken. Well, and we should do Prodigal Lich as well. That's a fun little quest. 
even though we got to go into Undercity and all that to like get it to happen. But it's fun. It's a the plot of it is fun. Okay. All right, we turned in. Let's go sell. Sell all of our junk. I am forsaken. All right, this needs to go to my bank alt. Okay. So that's all good. All right, you guys. Beware, our enemies abound. <clears throat> Let's go into the inn for that sweet, sweet rested experience. All right. So if you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. You can come on over to Twitch to hang out with me for the live version. Um, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.